Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I am going to talk about derivation of Selmer formula from the dispersion relation which we derived for the electromagnetic theory of uh, dispersion. So, let us consider the dispersion relation. as we have derived in the earlier lecture. So we have derived that n star square minus 1 is equal to 4 pi n e square over m f k summation over k and omega k square minus omega square minus iota g k omega let me call it as equation 1. Now, let us move towards the derivation of dispersion formula for a transparent substance. For this, consider a transparent substance substance is transparent that means absorption is least so this means damping term is not dominating damping is negligible it means so if it is so that means g k omega term is very much less than omega square minus omega k square minus omega square. So that means in comparison to this, this term can be neglected. So if this term is neglected, so above equation will become that means we should write down the means imaginary part will be removed imaginary term is removed imaginary term is ignored and imaginary part basically represents the loss in general imaginary part will represent the represents the loss or we may call it as absorption but for transparent medium there is no absorption or the no loss of the radiation so that means that damping term will be ignored so for this refractive index can be written without imaginary part so therefore the equation will become 4 pi n e square over m summation over k f of k omega k square minus omega square and here we can represent the frequency of incident radiation we can represent the frequency of the incident radiation and this incident radiation consists of different colors or the different frequencies color so if we consider visible spectrum so for that frequency of red color is less than frequency of violet color also we assume that frequency of red color is less than frequency of violet color and 
omega k is lying in say let us assume that in the ultraviolet region then if we consider this so these two parts basically corresponds to omega now the term omega k square minus omega because these two terms correspond to omega so that means this is smaller than this so this makes this term as positive or but if i incorporate these two things here that means omega k minus omega red because difference between these two is always larger then the difference between these two quantities so that means omega k minus omega violet if it is so that means omega k square minus omega red square is always greater than k square minus omega violet square but as i know that this refractive index is proportional to reciprocal of this difference so if it is greater and refractive index is inversely proportional so that means this will change this inequality for the refractive index so this makes it as red and violet right so that's what will happen and it means frequency of red color is greater than frequency of violet color that means and this in turn leads to the conclusion refractive index of red color is less than the violet color because we have started from this inequality right so that means refractive index increases increases with the increase in increase in omega and as we know from the definition of normal dispersion that if d n by d omega is greater than 0 that means it is a normal dispersion so this is a mathematical formulation and this thing resembles with it so that means this phenomena leads to the normal dispersion because this is according to this dn by d omega is greater than 0 so now to derive sengmeier's dispersion relation because that that relation is in terms of wavelength so to derive selmer dispersion formula let us assume that lambda is equal to 2 pi omega by sorry 2 pi c over omega and this leads to omega is equal to 2 pi c over lambda and lambda k is equal to 2 pi c over omega and this leads to omega k is equal to 2 pi c over lambda k so using these two things equation number 2 will become so equation number 2 leads to modification and what was that the sin square plus 1 is equal to 
सॉरी एन स्क्वेर माइनस वन और एन स्क्वेर मस्ट बी इक्वल टू वन प्लस फोर पाई एन ई स्क्वेर ओवर एम समेशन ओवर के एफ ऑफ के अपॉन टू पाई सी ओवर लेमडा के स्क्वेर माइनस टू पाई सी ओवर लेमडा टेस्ट टू पार टू So it is n square is equal to one plus four pi n e square over m summation over k f of k upon this is basically four pi square c square one over lambda k minus one over lambda x square and its square. Right, so this after simplification will lead to one plus four pi n e square over m, one over four pi square c square, and here it is lambda square minus lambda k square over lambda k square minus lambda square. This is f of k summation over k. But this can be taken outside the summation. So it is equal to one plus this four will cancel out within this pi with this pi. So this is one plus, and it can be taken inside the summation also. There is a possibility. So I can write down it as n e square. Pi m c square, and it goes up because we 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 have to take it in verse. So it is f of k lambda k square and lambda square over lambda square minus lambda k square, and so summation over k, and let me call this quantity as a k. That means if I will assume that a k is equal to n e square over pi m c square f k lambda k square, this n square will become one plus lambda summation over k, and it is a k lambda square over. Lambda square minus lambda k square. So here, this particular formula is known as Salmier's dispersion relation. So this is a way that how the Salmier's dispersion relation can be derived from uh, what we call uh, electromagnetic theory of radiation. And thanks for watching this video.